Welcome or welcome back to Crafts by KMW. Thank you so much for clicking on this video to watch it. And I truly hope that you enjoy it. So this is a full flip through of one of my most recent books that I bought. I have the full mini haul video already on the channel, so you could check that out if you'd like to. And this is a deep dive of the sticker by number vintage flowers book that I bought from Barnes and Noble. It is by Brain Games. I paid $12 for it because it is in their book annex. I didn't know this. I haven't been in a Barnes and Noble store for probably five years, but now they have a section I think it's usually in the front of the store where they have discounted books, activities, games, even music. And I felt was lucky enough to be able to get this one for $4 off the regular price. So I was really excited about that. And it is worth, in my opinion, every penny of the $12. So this is the front cover. It has a shiny embossed set of flowers here. That's really pretty. And then the rest of it is matte black. It is a pretty sturdy cardboard. And then here is the back. So it gives you an example of one of the pages. So here's the page before the stickers. Here's a sample sticker page, and then here's what it looks like when it is complete. And I will tell you, if you like vintage, if you like vintage flowers, this is an absolutely beautiful book. This was the first sticker by number book that I have ever purchased. Most of the sticker by number books just don't appeal to me because it's usually an image that you put the stickers on and then the background is just plain white or black or some other color like bright green or bright pink that doesn't go with anything. And it doesn't make a full artwork, a full piece of art because they're missing backgrounds. So this one really attracted me because you're making a beautiful piece of artwork that you can then use in many different applications when you're finished. So when you open up the book, the inside cover as well as the inside back cover show you some of the completed images. This is one of my favorite floral, vintage floral images of all time. This is a um, image that's in the public domain, so you should be able to get it on any website that offers free images but I love, love, love that one, uh, one of my favorites. And so here is the title page, and then we get into the images. So some of them are more complex where the shapes are very different, have pointed edges. There's even some with animals, so this one has a bird. And then there's others that are like this, like wallpaper images, so with very simple shapes. And I did a few of these. I did a wallpaper one, and then I did a another uh, more complex one, so I can show you those. All of the images are numbered, which is really nice, so you can go and make sure you're using the right stickers for the right page. The only thing I don't like about it is that the numbers are pretty prominent. So this one's in white and then this one's in black. So if you wanted to do something with this page, you would need to either cut off or cover somehow the number. So. I think that's a little bit of a misstep. I think they could have just printed the number really small in like white lettering and it wouldn't have been so um, in your face, but I figure I'll just take care of those <laughs> when I'm ready to. There are 28 floral pages in here to be stickered. 
And I like how there's a different range of flowers. And here's another wallpaper one. The wallpaper ones I don't think are, are all that great. I am really not into yellow and orange, but <laughs> I will probably still use them in some way. I like the different backgrounds. And some of the backgrounds are a little plain, but it is a color that goes with the image that's on it. So it's not like it's, you know, these flowers on like a bright purple background that doesn't match at all. So it makes a big difference. So here is the wallpaper one that I completed. And this page actually, actually a couple pages have actually fallen out of the book. So <laughs> I have to be careful. But this is one that I did last night. And uh, it was very simple to do. The, the shapes were very easy. And um, it was much easier to place these because they're they're basically either kind of this half star shape or circles. So they were really easy to fit inside the lines. Just so you know, the stickers are cut the exact size of the open shape that they are to fill. There's no additional space. So you really have to place the stickers carefully so you don't have any of the white showing. Like here, I actually have a teeny tiny bit of white showing. I'm gonna have to just fill that in with a black pencil or a marker. But uh, overall, it's very easy to do. The stickers are quite sticky. They stick well. So uh, I think this came out really cool. I'm probably gonna use this as like a background paper or maybe as a, a card so the backs are colored so this would be easy to like use as a card or as um, to cut up for journal cards or whatever um, I forgot to mention that these are all perforated so you can rip them out of the book very easily without damaging any of the images or the background And then here is the other one that I did. So this one was more complex. It had lots of different shapes, some of them with pointy edges. So this one did take me a little longer to complete and did take a little extra effort to make sure that I got the shape in the space perfectly. Because again, there's no room for error. You have to get it in there perfectly or you're gonna have some white space showing. And I do have a little bit of white space showing in on some of the flowers. I'm just gonna fix that with some colored pencil. Here there was some white space showing and I've been working on that with some colored pencils and gel pens. So I'll probably work on that a little bit more, but overall I think it came out really well. The stickers are shiny, so you get a little bit of contrast between the finished image and the background. And they are, um, as I said, they're very sticky. One tip I would suggest is when you're applying the stickers, apply them very, very lightly. The paper has a little bit of a sheen to it, so you can pull off and reapply the sticker several times if you wish, if you don't get it placed exactly right. And I actually did that with a bunch of the flowers. So, it does allow you a little bit of wiggle room to fix your mistakes. And I just made sure that I kind of applied it very, very lightly until I was ready to um, have it stick permanently. And I'm like, yep, that looks good. There's no white showing. And then I would smooth it down um, to make sure that it stayed. So 
it was really fun to do. It was very pleasant and uh, I didn't have any other issues other than, other than that. It was very calming. It didn't take a long time. So, and, and again, I love doing things where you get a really pretty finished project at the end that you can do something with. So this is the last one. And then you have an answer key. <laughs> I, I don't really understand it, but it show it gives you some, I would say these are probably three and a half by four inch um, rectangles of each completed image. And I love that. So I'm actually going to cut these out and use them. I'll probably copy some and print them because they are printed back to back. So that way I can get all of the images and not lose any. Um, I will probably use these as journal cards or decorations in my scrapbooks. You could also use them on a on a card that you're making for someone. You could also use these in home decorating. They would be great to jazz up like a um, like a jewelry box or if you have like an end table that has some open space on the sides, you could put, I could see like three of these in a row or two and two to make like a larger square shape or rectangle shape. So there's so many different things that you could do with these. Um, they could also be used as decoupage elements and again this paper is pretty nice it's sturdy so you could use these for different things and they will hold up and then you get to the sticker pages so as you can see there are multiple pages on each one so for example here are the stickers for page one but some of the stickers for page two are also on here and then they continue up here and then these are the stickers for page three and then the stickers for page four there's some for five five continues so on and on like that the stickers are numbered. Um, they are not in any order. I imagine they just put them on according to how they would fit best. So when I did mine, I didn't put them on the sticker sheet in number order. I just pulled them off. I started up at the left-hand corner and just went across like this <laughs> and pulled the stickers off. But you could do it in order if you wanted to because then you would complete one full flower and then or one element, whatever it is, leaf, bird, and then you would go on to the next one. So I think you could definitely do that as well. But they're pretty clearly marked. It's pretty easy to see which... Um, element the the number the letter and number goes with so that wasn't a problem at all they come off pretty easily they peel off very well they're pretty sturdy they're not flimsy stickers at all and so they're pretty easy to use so I'm gonna show you what I did when I did my pages so so here is the leftover page of where mine were, and I just cut it off of the, the rest of the page and just ripped it out. And then I was able to have the stickers with me so I didn't have to keep flick, flipping back and forth. I would strongly recommend ripping the sticker page out so that way you don't have to keep going back and forth. And here I did the same thing with 21. I just cut it off and then ripped that part out and the rest of it is still intact in the book for when I'm ready for that page. And you can see the, the images are really pretty. The stickers are very pretty. They look, they look kind of painted. They're not realistic looking. They look like they are painted, like they are works of art. And I really like that. It gives it a more vintage feel, I think. 
So that is the book. Again, if you like doing sticker by numbers, if you like vintage, vintage flowers, or if you just like flowers, this is a really nice book to get. It is nice quality. It doesn't take a long time to complete one of the pictures. I think it took me a half an hour tops to do each page and the wallpaper one with the yellow flowers that went much faster than the other one I did with the tulips but they went pretty fast it was I just was sitting on my recliner watching TV as I was doing them and it was just really nice to do something fun and creative and while I was watching TV and just kind of hang hanging out so I really I highly suggest this book. It is wonderful and there's so many things that you can do with the completed finish with the completed pages when you are finished. Um, you can use them as paper, you can use them for cards, you can use them in decorating. You can there's just so many things you can do with them and I really like that. I like making art that you can then use and so it, it really helps you to get your money's worth so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up i would really appreciate it and i would love it if you would subscribe to my channel it would mean so much to me and i thank all my current subscribers and hope that you are enjoying the channel so thank you so much i hope you have a fantastic and very crafty day.